Is that all by yourself? Yeah. Oh, Alright, well we're out of here. I don't know when I'll be back. I don't know. And you thought it was Tim. <laughs> Look who stopped in. That's right. <laughs> I can't even get your head on. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> How many days did God create the world? that talked to him. Moses! Moses! You guys know all the questions. Okay, this one's for Fletcher. How did David kill Goliath? Uh, he fell down. He fell down, yeah. He used a uh, sling, right, and stones. What animal tempted Eve in the garden? Uh, snake. Fletcher? <laughs> Fletcher got it first. Good job. Who brought Lazarus back to life? A God! Jesus did, right? What special piece of clothing did Joseph have? Stripey. Hey, hey, it's a new day and welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would just take you guys along on a productive day of my life, but also a fun one because I'm gonna reward myself if I get everything done in time. We are going to work on a project that I've been wanting to work on for a while. My whole dining room situation I am not happy with, um, but I don't really feel like spending the money on a new dining table yet. I want to do a little more research. I feel like the stuff that's out there right now feels super trendy to me, and I want to follow the trends for a little bit to figure out what is going to be more classic, um, but still more modern than what I have now. Um, but I thought one thing I could do is work on that big white wall. I feel like our room, well here, let me show you. So here's the wall, it's just big and white and boring. I have a plant hanging here, but then the sun porch is really busy, and this wall over here, this accent wall that Josh and I did is even, it's just as busy, you know? So I feel like it needs something a little more simplistic. So I thought what I would do is make a very subtle wall art piece. I saw someone like West Elm and Pottery Barn and stuff, but it's gonna be simple, and I'm excited about it. It might actually be free, because I think Josh has all the supplies um, just kind of thrown around in his shop out there. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be very, very do it on a dime esque, and yeah, maybe you'll like it and want to recreate it too. But I've never done it before, so who knows if it even is gonna work. But we're just gonna kind of adventure through it together. Hopefully, it's not a flop. But yes, today's like a project day, and I had it all planned out. But then my sister said she can come over. She's at that whole hustle and trying to make money stage of life because she wants to get married. And anyway, so she's always happy to put in hours. And her client that she was working for canceled on her. Um, she's like a CNA, a nurse. Um, so she's coming over to do some housework. I love when she comes because it feels like there's two of me. Like we get so much done. It's actually already 10 o'clock this morning. I was just listening to Mama to Five. She was talking about how she likes to have her house pretty much almost perfect before she goes to bed so she can get up the next morning and get going with her day. She's a homeschool mom. But I'm the exact opposite. Like, I feel like in the morning when I get up, I just want some like low level tasks to do, like, you know, putting away the dishes, starting a load of laundry, tidying up the kitchen or whatever. I just feel like my brain is not fully awake, so I just need something like that to do before I like jump into big projects. But I got all that done. I had a yummy breakfast burrito for breakfast. That's like my new kick. <laughs> I'm sure it'll last for a while and then I'll move on to the next thing. Last week it was avocado toast, so. But anyway, if you are new to my channel, my name is Megan Fox and I'm a mom to three, ranging from four months to four years old, so that's fun. Um, and it means that projects get broken up <laughs> because I have a baby to nurse, I have toddlers to entertain, and um, they can be a big help too, but today I think I'm just gonna kind of work solo a little bit and let my sister kind of keep an eye on them and get some like other housework done for me. We actually had guests last night so our house is kind of a wreck. <sighs> but yeah, she'll help me reset that, so that's really nice. Okay, now I'm up in my closet and I'm just refolding all of my t-shirts. I'm actually going to go through everything and kind of declutter it. This automatic t-shirt folder is so handy. I actually um, bought this back when we started Fox Sparrow to fold all the tees, and it works like a charm. Voila, so tidy and aesthetic <laughs> okay so speaking of aesthetics real talk here i was not going to even do this on camera i do a lot of um chores household chores and stuff off camera yeah because you know 
I put out a video once or twice a week and a lot of the time I'm in the mood to get stuff done and so I just don't film it I just go and crank at it and get it done and so I was just gonna do that with my decluttering of my closet even though I've been looking so forward to doing it I always knew like once my body kind of settled back into like what it was gonna be after the baby I was gonna start getting going through stuff because I have way too much like <laughs> I like a much more minimal closet but anyway I have always been the type of person that says that Instagram just inspires me and it doesn't make me feel inferior or anything I just like see all these crazy pretty houses and stuff and organization and everything and just I'm like wow that's awesome that's cool it's fun to look at you know and I am mature enough to know that you know that might not be my life and that's totally okay but I have to admit um I did not want to do my closet clean out on camera I was flipping through and I saw a modest influencer she had the most picturesque closet everything was so organized all the matching hangers all the skirts and like the little clippy hangers and oh, just like the perfect shoe organization and everything and I'm like what am I doing I'm not gonna put that on YouTube for everybody to see like my version of it because it's so like not pretty anyway and then I got to thinking I was like you know what probably most of us have the not pretty version like it can still be tidy and neat and decluttered and organized and still not look that aesthetically pleasing I do like to organize my clothes by color I just think it looks nicer or whatever and I do have a nice like I'm blessed with a nice big closet like here I am sitting in my closet it's definitely more space than me and Josh need and I'm very grateful for it but yeah I was feeling that whole comparison game going on even though I say that's not me and I don't struggle with that at all and I guess I did in that area anyway so I'm just gonna I was like you know what I'm gonna keep myself accountable I'm gonna show you quickly it's not gonna be a long section here or anything but I'm gonna just quickly show you a few things that I'm getting rid of okay that's another thing I could not decide what to do with my clothes because some of my clothes have been gifted or, or I've been like a brand ambassador for them so I got it at a good discount or like I don't know anyway I wasn't sure what to do with my clothes so I was thinking maybe I'll do like a garage sale and, and then have all the proceeds go to a charity but then I have to do all the pricing. I have to set up somewhere, like, which would be fun to meet a bunch of you guys. But, like, it just seems like a lot of work at this stage of life. So I think I'm just going to actually consign everything. And then I'll make a percentage back and I can use that money on clothes for my kids. Or if at that point I wanted to cash it in and use the money, you know, to give to a charity, I could. So I think that's the plan. A little more attainable right now. Even though having a garage sale would be a lot of fun. It's probably not the best use of my time right now so my goal pretty much with my closet is to have only things that I love and that I wear or I will keep a few things that just have like sentimental value to me or whatever but yeah I've kind of learned like there's a few outfit combinations or recipes that I always gravitate towards and so if it's out of those boxes I'm not gonna wear it very often it's just it's just how it is and I also designed a clothing line this past year with inherit clothing company so finally those pieces are in if you missed last week's video go check it out if you'd like to take a peek and maybe order something for yourself the links are down below sizes extra small through 4xl um, but yeah anyway so I have all that too which is so exciting and one of the funnest opportunities that ever came about because of a YouTube channel but yeah it is time to pare down I don't need all this stuff and my sister is dying to go through this stuff anyway and take some my leftovers so I was like let's do this let's get it done today Okay, so there's a giant pile on the floor. Just to give you some reference, there's all the empty hangers of stuff I took off. I like to redo my closet every spring and fall. And I don't know if you watched my last 
closet declutter video, but it's it was super helpful. You guys should try it out. So basically, I had all the clothes on this side, and then I took whatever I thought in the fall that I wasn't going to wear through the winter, and I would put it over here on this side of my closet. And then if I found myself wearing it, it would inevitably get back on this side. You know what I'm saying? And so when I went through this side over here with all the like rejects from the fall, um, and now I'm looking, thinking about spring and everything. There was so much stuff. Like I packed away all my maternity stuff that was still here. I, you know, maybe I'll need it in the future. Who knows? <laughs> and then just got rid of anything I didn't wear all winter. And I'm looking at it again, not excited about wearing it in the spring. Boom, put it on the stack. I don't need this much clothes. And I ended up wearing the same, what do they say? You wear 20% of your closet 80% of the time. So true for me. Um, but then I did on this side, put all my like special occasion dresses or just like, this was a dress my mom made for me in seventh grade and I ended up wearing it. It was super old already by the time uh, Josh asked me out on a date, but I panicked. I didn't know what to wear. And so I wore my most oldest, comfiest dress and I can't get rid of it. Like it is, I mean, I wore this since I was 13. It's a one size fits all type of thing. And I will pull it out on special occasions and wear it like on a date with just me and Josh. <laughs> um, it was definitely my, it reflects my style for sure when I was, you know, 13. But anyway, so I keep that one around. Of course, you know, my wedding dress. You no, know, and then just like a flowy, here's a flowy beachy dress, you know, wear for a photo shoot or if I happen to be at an actual beach. You know, stuff that I don't want to get rid of, but I don't need to see it every day. I'm not probably going to wear it, you know, on a regular day to day basis but it is there if I want it so that's kind of how I'm doing and then I have this behind the camera here is just this big cavity with nothing there which is great that is what I want I don't mind seeing bare space so now the next step probably in about a month I will go back through when it's like solidly warm and I will get rid of like my long sleeve dresses and some things like that but for right now it looks pretty packed but that's because I need warm weather clothes and cooler weather clothes because we're getting both right now here in Pennsylvania um, one thing I haven't started working on yet is my sweaters, my pullover sweaters. But yeah, I found working in like a spring fall segment, like it really works good and it's fun. Like I've had so much fun here. I do need to go through my shoes yet too though, because there are some boots and things I didn't wear all winter. So I might as well get rid of them. Okay. So now I'm going to go through my just underwear drawer, my workout stuff and just go through that. Basically the criteria, I'm not going to show you that on camera guys, sorry, but the criteria I'm going to use is one, do I wear it? Two, does it look really worn and I need to maybe re think about replacing it? And then just, yeah, go through everything, organize it a little bit and get it looking much better so I don't have to like sift through my socks to find my underwear in the morning. Like I have them just all in one drawer and I'm not liking that system. So I'm just gonna like work on figuring that all out. So there's PJs I need to go through and like swimsuit cover ups and things like that. Um, socks, yeah, you know, all those things that are not in the normal closet. with a little photo shoot for the new robes that came in. What body? Oh, she put her robe on. Oh, don't you look cute. Here, what do you want? You need me to tie it? Yes, it's so cute. All the little golden polka dots. What do you want me to do downstairs with them? Just play with them? Um, yeah, for the next 20 minutes and then I will get them their lunch ready and then you can go. Hey, buddy. Butcher. <laughs> Anyway, like I was saying, we were taking pictures of the new robes that came in. They're so cute. Look at this one here. Um, we also have, there are a lot of fun spring florals um, in more like sophisticated shades. You know, I don't know. I just love them. This one here, we got another batch of those in. Usually if there's a batch of robes on the website, they're there until they're gone and then they're gone. Like we usually aren't able to restock because it's hard to get more fabric in. Anyway, here's another one. I love it. This is like... 1970s floral chic. Seriously. Oh my word. This one's probably my favorite one lately. It depends what you want to robe for. I feel like this is just like a fun flirty style for spring. Anyway, well, I would wear it year round. Let's be honest. But anyway, I got to get out of these and get them packaged up and then it's lunchtime. Yay. Okay. I'm just getting lunch out. It's going to be super easy today because I have leftovers. Hallelujah. And I know everybody has mixed feelings about leftovers but I am excited because we had Green Chef this week. I still have one meal left to cook tonight. <laughs> Look at Fletcher's little painting. I guess I'll leave it there for now. Um, the other night we had spicy beef and noodle bowls and they were so good, but 
whenever they do a pasta meal, there's always like double of what we actually need. I feel like the meal portion sizes are usually really good, but whenever there's a pasta night for some reason, there's always so much left over, even though we eat till we're about, you know, completely full because it's so good. I am working with Green Chef on this video, yay! You guys know that I love them not only for how amazing their food is, but also because it's just really, it's fun. The other night me and Josh actually had a little date night and we actually cooked Green Chef together. And yeah, it was just fun to spend time in the kitchen together. Josh is not really a cook or anything, but if he has like step-by-step -step directions, he can do it, it's fine. Green Chef is a CCOF certified company and they bring meal kits right to your door with pre-portioned ingredients and like step-by-step -step directions so anybody can do it. It and um, it is a convenience you know you are paying for a little bit of a convenience of having everything right there but guys it not only saves you time with cooking depending what style of cooking you do but it also saves you time grocery shopping because everything is there all you got to have on hand is salt pepper oil sometimes it'll call for butter but you can always just use oil instead whatever but yeah it's so simple I don't have to really think twice about the meals we're having those nights and I don't do any prep ahead of time like I literally will be working till five o'clock I'll feed the baby I'll get out the meal bags, open them up, and get to work. Like, I don't have to do any planning ahead of time, thawing anything out. It's just all ready to go. And it always tastes so good, which is, that's the ultimate reason why I love working with them. Because I understand, like, running a food service company, you really need people to try it, to believe it. And you can't really try it through the screen. So I'm here to tell you, it's really good. If you'd like to try it out, I do have a code for you. It's MeganFox130, and that's going to get you $130 off. If you have not tried them out yet, Definitely, definitely use it. It's it's delicious. We love everything that we've tried from them, especially all their burgers. They have really creative ways of making pork chops. Tonight, that's what we're gonna actually have. And if you're worried about your special diet, have no fear. Green Chef has options for every lifestyle, keto, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean. Wow, that's a mouthful. So many different options if you are eating in a certain way. I'm gonna eat the spicy beef and noodle recipe, by the way. This was spicy, but I just did half of the red pepper flakes they send along and it was perfect. So um, yeah, you can definitely customize them a little bit if you're cooking and decide you you know, want to leave something out or anything like that. Weeks with Green Chef are just extra fun and I feel like I feel more inspired in the kitchen. It's just like a little event which you guys know, I've been talking about that, that that's one of my goals for this year in 2022, to just have time to enjoy the process of cooking. Green Chef has definitely been helping me out with that. But anyway, I'm gonna get this heated up and call the kids up and we're gonna eat and I think we're gonna go on a walk on the trail. Yay. Um, there's snow on the ground, but it's warm, so the snow won't be here for very long. No, it's from Green Chef. I know, they're so good. She just asked me for the recipe for the Green Chef. My, my sister ate some leftovers too. I don't have the recipe, it's from Green Chef. <laughs> um, but I could probably try to recreate something similar, but they never taste quite the same. Anyway, we are going on a walk. The kids are eating their lunch, and I'm putting the baby wrap on. I did change my shirt. I'm gonna be working with plaster later, so I was like, this is an old shirt. I don't care what happens to it, really. I love this hoodie, but it like it got really pilly really fast, so I just don't really wear it in public anymore. But yeah, some of you were asking about my baby wrap. I love it. I use this on my kids till they're pretty big. Um, I'm not a baby wearing type of mom, <laughs> but I um, love to wear my baby when I'm going on walks because then it gives me extra exercise. Soon here, once there's like snow off the ground and stuff, I can push the stroller again um, and then jog. So yeah, that will be happening soon, but. Yeah, this is the Sevens brand, which I had a coupon back in the day when I had Ivani, and so it came to me pretty inexpensively. Um, I'm not sure what the name brands of these are. You can comment down below if you know, I guess. Um, but yeah, I would give my endorsement for this one. I don't have any codes or anything. I know they can be super expensive. I actually have a friend who made one. Oh, are you excited? He's excited to go to walk. Um, it's not that cold out, actually. It's like high 40s. Um, but he has like a cold, the poor kid. So I feel like fresh air will do him good. I'm one of those moms who believes in taking your baby out in the cold. Just not if it's windy. I don't do it if it's windy, but yeah, we go out in pretty cold weather, don't we? Just for very, very short amounts of time. Okay, so I'm just putting him in the wrap. There he is, and he can have his arms in or out. I'm gonna leave him in, I think, um, to keep them warm. See his little hands poking out there. Say, let's go. And in case you're curious, I'm not gonna put a coat on him, but I'm gonna put a big furry blanket over him. To keep him nice and warm. Looks like the snow is melting slowly. Like my sunglasses? Yeah. They're from Inherit. 
Um, I did not design uh, sunglasses with my clothing line, but I should have. I wear them all the time. These are very nice. Yeah, I don't know, good quality. Got them from Inherit Clothing Company, like I said. And I can't believe I'm wearing sunglasses when there's snow on the ground, but that's kind of when you need them. Because yeah, it's just so, so bright with the snow on the ground. is now. <laughs> we are back for our walk. It's time to get started on this. I'm, my heart's pounding a little bit. <laughs> okay, not really, but I hope it works out. I have great expectations here. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Sorry, if you hear Miller, he's still not taking his nap. <laughs> anyway, he took a really long one this morning. But here is my two giant pieces of wood. I want to put them up on this white wall that's like super blah and boring kind of. And then Josh made me wood frames. And I'm gonna cover these sheets of like plywood, MDF board, whatever this is, in plaster. Here's just some of the inspiration. Um, I like this kind of texture. I might try to use a comb to do that. Or like here's another that has like the wooden edge. And then it has that, yeah, look at that, 277 bucks for, a, and that's not even as big as the one I wanna make. Yeah, just kind of like that kind of inspiration. You know, pretty subtle, but still adding texture. I, I'm gonna try to avoid painting it, depending how it dries, we will see. Um, there she's using gloves in her hands. I'm gonna try to not do that, just in case I have to deal with Miller or something. I'm gonna try to use my tools. So yeah, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but I'm excited, I hope it works. Um, I'm My only concern, like I think I can do it fine, my only concern is will the wet plaster, like, I keep saying plaster, it's like drywall mud. The bucket actually says joint compound. <laughs> Anyway, like I said, Josh had all these supplies out in the shop, so I didn't have to spend any money, but I think we both want it to work out because he did spend some time cutting all that stuff for me. So, yeah, I think it's going to be really satisfying watching the putty going down on it. I don't know. I think that'll be fun and kind of, like, relaxing. So, okay, I think I need to stop yakking and just get going and see what happens. joint compound down. I'm just like not gonna even focus on trying to get the texture how I want it yet, but first impressions, this is so fun. Like I already wanna start an Etsy shop and sell these things. It is just like so therapeutic, smearing. I don't know, it's, I'm sure you can tell by the footage I'm getting, it is very relaxing. Wow, I need to do this on more walls in my home. <laughs> well, I shouldn't talk too soon yet. We'll see if it even works out, but so far, so good. I'm having the time of my life. Okay, so the board is completely covered, um, and now I have to start taking things a little more seriously. I have to make sure everything is like, there I see a little wood peeking through, and you know, like this is how it's gonna start to be completely finished. And I wanna add some more texture, and like maybe some arches and stuff, so now it comes like the artwork part of things, and yeah, okay, let's just, let's just see what happens. <laughs> how much 
just gonna show up on camera here, but this arch I like. Like you can see all the grooves, how they're like parallel with the comb and everything. This one I worked too much, see? Like it's just a bunch of like weighty lines. I went over it too many times. I'm just gonna go back in with my trowel and like erase it all and start over again and try to get to more like, you know, a path with grooves and stuff. So here we go, let's see if I can fix it. try something kind of risky. Here we go. Okay, never mind. Scrap that idea. <laughs> but that's the beauty of this. You can just start over. Of course it's gonna start drying soon too, so I guess I better commit to something. Okay, it's all done. That the whole thing took me about an hour. I'm not gonna show it to you yet, like in detail, because I wanna wait till it dries and like do a good reveal or whatever. But here is the, okay, if you don't have a handy husband like I do, this might be a little bit of a problem, but I want to put wooden frames around them. Oh my word, I love that. It looks expensive, guys. <gasps> that looks so good. But now I'm trying to decide. So we have this wood, I'm pointing with my big pointer here. We have this wood here in that color. Then we have the sun porch wood. And then this trim is going bye-bye. I'm gonna paint this all white around the door jams and stuff so that we have all white there. So now I have to figure out what, do I wanna stain this? I, I think I do, it'll make it look a little more expensive or at least seal it or something. But this color does really tie in well with my sun porch in general. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. It would be easier just to not stain it, but I want to do it right because I'm excited. Mm -hmm. A 
game where? Uh, like a pretty girl wise man. A pretty girl wise man? Where do you see that? Maybe girls came along. I never thought about it that way. Maybe they had girls along to cook for them. How'd you know it was a girl? Because I'm um, like her had a heart on her hat. <sighs> okay, so I am sitting in the parking lot. I'm going to meet one of you guys, actually, Sarah. Um, was so sweet and let me borrow her bike for our photo shoot last week And so I'm returning that to her at her work, but yeah supper was really good It was a green chef meal broccoli recipe was actually really good I want to try to make it more I never I don't know why I never thought to put garlic in my broccoli But I've done that with green beans all the time, but garlic butter broccoli is so good So I need to make that more um, and also remember if you would like to try out green chef go to greenchef.com and use my code for $130 off as always thank you green chef for partnering with me this month I really appreciate it and look at me I have over 15,000 steps on my step tracker today that's unusual oh she has the bike she's loading it up over there I just love when our community like our this community becomes 3d like that that's so fun anyway <laughs> thank you Sarah again so much it was a fun, fun photo shoot, and it was cuter yet because we had a cute bike. So, yeah, I love, I, yeah, it was so fun to meet her in person, and yeah, I don't know. I warms my heart. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Okay, so it took almost a week to finally get it hung up. It didn't take near that long to dry. It was dry, I would say, overnight. Um, but Josh hung it up like you saw there, and I am so excited to show it to you. So let me turn you around. Okay, so there it is from a distance. I wanted them centered with my light up here, so if it doesn't look centered to you, trust me, it is. But now let's get a closer look. I decided, as you can see, not to stain the edges because I was afraid the stain would get on to the plaster itself and I did not know how I was gonna avoid that from happening since stain is very runny. Um, I guess I could have stained them before I popped them onto the canvas. But in the end, I decided I liked how that color looked with the sun porch and also maybe I was a little bit lazy, let's be honest. <laughs> um, but yes, here it is. You can see all the details. Um, it is not perfect by any means. But I kind of like it like that. Here I have like a track that I did with the comb going across. Up here is an arch. Can you guys see that detail? Yeah, I don't know. It was just really fun and I didn't take it too seriously. I love how some of the grooves I left nice and high. And then others are just a little more low profile. But yeah, it's just very fun to even touch. Like, I mean, I don't know if I really want the kids touching it. But um, it feels like a little bit chalky. But nothing is like really rubbing off of it or anything. But yeah, I feel like it looks very modern and still sticks with like the style of my home at the same time, which is kind of hard to do. Okay, so if you want to try this at home, a couple tips I would say is one, don't spend a lot of money. Just keep your eyes open for like different wooden boards um, if you're not picky about the size of it. I found a couple at a thrift store that I just went into the other week, but I was very like picky about the size I wanted. And Josh also had, you know, the free wood out back that was left over. So it worked out for me, but I would say if you guys want to try it, definitely go for it. But yeah, I feel like you could use this technique in so many different areas of your house or like on different projects even. So I'm really glad I tried it. And another thing that I love about it is I feel like I can move those anywhere in my home. Like they would look great on my wall in my living room. They would look awesome in my office. Just very like simple, but I love how it adds all that texture. So anyway, I would call it a success. It was a very fun process and the results worked. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming along on this day in the life, or it feels like it's been so long since I started filming the video. This is like a week later, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out Green Chef and come back next week for a what I spent in a week video. Should be pretty interesting. Uh, it's going to be a weekly vlog, but I will include prices and things in there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Bye.